Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly um, monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, so let's get right into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2020. All right. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, your first card is the Justice card. So a lot of balance. Balance is the theme here for you guys. That's going to be very important for the month of March. It could be balance in regards to karmic issues. It could be balance in regards to uh, overdoing or not overdoing or not doing enough. Now, your obstacle here is the Empress. Okay, so I feel that for some of you guys, um, Aries, I feel you guys extremely motivated, extremely focused in trying to achieve some type of what you would consider abundance or financial growth or stability. Now, as a current situation, you need to balance out your energies in regards to how you feel with what you're wanting to achieve. So as an example, um, as an example, if you're trying to achieve financial stability or abundance, right? Increase your income as an example, but you're often telling yourself or you're often counting the reasons why it's so difficult for you to do or why it's not happening the way you would want it to. What you're doing is you're sending two different signals. So I feel that what they're telling you here is you need to figure out exactly what your fear is in regards to stability, in regards to abundance, in regards to money, so that once you understand that on a deeper level, you can then move forward with action, trying to plan out or organize or approach the situation from a different perspective. So in retrospect, what they're saying is you could be hindering your progress uh, or you could be the reason why you're hindering the progress of what you're wanting to achieve. Now, you do have the lover's card here. So for some of you guys, it could have to do with perhaps um, relationships. Um, for others, it could be, like I said, financial stability. Um, so it could be on both spectrums. It is a general reading. For some of you guys, it could be that you just fully don't understand why, what's the reason why in the past relationships haven't, haven't worked out for you or the nature of yourself and why you have difficulty committing to people in the other spectrum. Like I said, money. Uh, so for Here's the thing. What they're telling me is if you guys are currently on a mission to try to either grow your finances, stabilize your finances, or achieve a certain type of goal, whatever this may mean to you, what Spirit is telling you is it is possible. You do have that in the very near future. You have emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. For some of you guys, it could even be commitment. For those of you guys that are... Uh, you know, currently dealing with relationships. So either way, you have the possibility or probability of you manifesting the abundance or the stability that you're looking for is there. But you need to find the reason why you yourself are becoming a detriment to that outcome. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be just the fear of giving yourself or committing yourself because you're scared of getting hurt. For others of you, it could be the representation of fear because in the past you were married or you had a long-term committed relationship and it didn't work out. So at this point, you probably, you probably feel like it's too much of a risk that you want it, but at the same time, you kind of convince yourself that you, that you don't want it or that you're better off without it. Like I said, I do see you guys currently having like being at crossroads and having to choose. And are you willing to attain 
what you're wanting to succeed in for this month of March. Yes, uh, the promise is there. And the more than anything, uh, more than the promise, uh, the certainty is there. But you need to get out of yourself. You need to get out of your own way, Aries. Uh, so this is with fears. This is understanding your fears or understanding why perhaps deep down inside of you, you feel like you don't deserve it, whether it's abundance, whether it's success. Uh, for some of you guys, it could even be that you've put extra work. You've really gone above and beyond to prove yourself or to prove to your superiors. And it just seems like they just don't acknowledge that. So what there's what spirit is telling you here is that in order for you to get the ball rolling, you need to start believing in yourself. You can't expect other people to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. You can't expect other people to fully want to commit or to fully give themselves to you when you're reserving yourself because you're scared that you're going to be vulnerable or that you're going to get hurt. Okay? Now, like I said, the attainment is there for you guys. You do have the Four of Pentacles having and beholding. The high priestess is what's coming towards you. For some of you guys, it could be the desire of marriage. Perhaps you're uh, emotionally invested in someone and that someone could be spiritual themselves or could have some type of connection, very intuitive type of uh, connection. And I feel that you get advice from them or they kind of try to guide you through it um, into manifesting. Pay attention to that. Don't take those advises you know very lightly i feel that they're coming from a very uh true um from a very true and genuine place uh so again take those messages for what they are now you do have the moon here and the moon is for a lot okay so here's the thing we're getting here a lot of major arcanas so this is signifying to me that you aries are currently going through things that perhaps you feel like you're not in control of and in fact, you're not only because this is talking to me about destiny. So for some of you guys, I want to say from March going all the way to June, you're going to be aligning yourself to your desires or what you're wanting to achieve. Um, and with that, relationships are going to start to form relationships that are going to have a long lasting impact in your life. For some of you guys, it could be that you. Uh, in the manifestation process or in the process of trying to find your financial stability, uh, you become much more closer to a specific person that is very intuitive, that therefore starts to help you in achieving that in a, in a much quicker form, whether it's because they believe in you, whether it's because they encourage you, whatever the situation may mean to you. But the advice card here is we have the moon card. So the moon card is tapping into the unknown. Let go of fearing the unknown Aries. Don't be scared. Don't allow things to prevent you. Like, don't keep the fear. Prevent you from trying new things or doing or approaching certain things in a different way uh, because you're scared or because you don't know how to go about it. Have faith. Declare what it is that you want. Say, you know what? By the end of this year, I want to be making a specific amount or by the end of June or July, as an example, I want to be in a committed relationship, but really declare that once that's declared, the universe is going to start to move everything. You don't worry about when it comes, how it comes. You don't worry about none of that. Uh, what they're telling you here is that spirit will make its way opening doors and pathways that are going to give to you the manifestation that you're looking for, regardless of the obstacles that you may currently or you may feel like you've been incurring, okay? And you also have the strength card here. So this is all about having faith and trust in yourself, believing in yourself, Aries. I feel that this is a very strong reading because it's not just focusing on one specific subject. In retrospect, it's talking about your whole life and getting to a place where you want to be and you do have the potential of getting there. It's just trusting and having faith and knowing that you deserve what you're asking for or what you want. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.